Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. I've come out with yet another dupe video and this time we are duping ABH Fall Romance Palette. This is their fall release, the yearly fall release that we always anticipate from ABH. And this time I feel like the palette is absolutely gorgeous, especially for that medium, tan, deep, dark skin tones. Because I feel like for lighter skin tones, this might be a little more like heavy and like it might give you more of a dramatic look. But if you are into it, I feel like this is an absolutely gorgeous palette. And they sneak peek this palette, which you can see on the screen. It is a beautiful burgundy cover and it totally reminds me of this like fuzzy packaging of like the subculture, the modern renaissance, the soft glam palette. And I'm glad to see that bag because this gives like that nostalgia of ABH. But the shades are absolutely gorgeous too. This comes with 12 beautiful shades. And we're going to dupe this beautiful palette using the existing palettes I already have in my collection. Let me give you a spoiler. If you have these oldies but discontinued palettes in your collection, you already have this palette. We're talking ABH subculture palette. We are talking Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and Melt Mariposa Palette. These were all a major hits in their timelines. Let's begin duping this palette because I'm so excited. The first shade in the palette is called Smoke, which is a silvery taupe with green gold reflex. And the shade that dupes this comes from the Chocolate Gold Palette. And the shade that dupes this is this shade, which is called Gold Dipped. So let's swatch this. This is more of like that taupey, silvery, but it has like a green gold running throughout it, which I felt like this is so apt for this shade. So that's the shade that dupes the shade Smoke. The next shade in the palette is Leather. And Leather is more of like a matte stone shade. Nothing groundbreaking. It's like a beautiful transitioning shade on me. By the way, the eye look that I created is using the dupes of this. You'll see it towards the end of the video. I love this eye look. Okay, the leather shade is duped by this shade from the Melt Mariposa palette. And this is called Te Adoro. Te Adoro? I don't know. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to take that. This might not even show up on my skin because it's very, very close to my skin tone. But that's the shade. Yeah, you can hardly see it on my skin. Maybe like this. <laughs> but it does show up on my eyes. So that's always a plus. But for like anyone who's deeper than me, this would be more of like a brightening shade or like a melting in buffing shade for you guys, which also I always love. Okay, the next shade in the palette is called Moonlight. And this is that iridescent duochrome. And this shifts from a lavender with sparkling pink opal shift which I feel like a lot of palettes have, but I used the shade from the Daydreamer highlighter palette, but a lot of shades have it, okay? The shade that I used is Dream Chaser, which again is a lavendery shift with like that opal pink duochrome. I felt like this is apt, but also another option if you do have the Sugar Drizzle palette, um, this shade, which is Star Shine, is also very, very close to that. If you can see that it has a lavender to a pink, reflecting i know like nightshade also had it from gourmand girls this shade which is enchanter looks like a white but it does have that pinky opaly shift to it okay let me swatch this so so stunning this on top of any mats would just look at the look at the shiftiness this would transform your eye look like crazy this is what i've tapped on top of the smoky shades it's so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. Okay, let's move on to the next shade. The next shade is called Thorns. And this is defined as a matte hunter green with sparkling reflex. I don't know about sparkling reflex, but Thorn is very, very close to Destiny from the Subculture palette. So let's watch that. Again, on the eyes, it might not even show the sparkling reflex maybe that's why they call it like a different shade apart from ABH but this is how thorns would look the next shade in the palette is called fireside and this is defined as a metallic rosy copper with sparkling reflex now I have a few options if you have subculture palette this shade Adorn, would be very similar to it if you have the melt mariposa palette the shade mesquite would be very very close to it so let's watch the shade mesquite 
Again, this is defined as a metallic rosy copper and that's exactly what this is. There you go. Now that dupes the shade Fireside. Now the next shade in the palette is called Crimson and Crimson is defined as a matte deep wine shade. Again, you have a few options in both of these palettes. There's Maria here from the Amore Mariposa palette, which is like a deep matte wine shade. But also, if you have subculture palette, I feel like All Star is a little bit more on the muted side, but will give you a similar vibe on the eyes. There you go. Such a beautiful shade. I love this shade. So that dupes the shade Crimson. The next shade in the palette I feel like is the talk of the town, which is divine. And this is defined as a duochrome vivid purple with a sparkling pink pearl shift. And this is duped by the chocolate gold palette. And the shade that dupes is this one, this shade. And this is called new money. Again, it is a very, you know, creamy finish the same way that the ABH palette has. It's not sparkling by any means. It's more like a, a cream satin finish so this dupes the shade divine look at that <laughs> the next shade in the palette is called midnight and this is defined as a metallic smoky purple shade with sparkling reflex and this is again duped from the chocolate gold palette and this is the shade that we are duping out with such a pretty shade this is called living lavish so let's take that. There you go. Okay, the next shade in the palette is called Crown and this is defined as a duochrome gold with sparkling green blue shifts. I feel like Subculture has a very, very good dupe and this is called Electric and this would definitely serve your cravings for this new ABH palette. So let's watch that so pretty there you go so that dupes the shade crown in the new abh fall romance palette now let's move on to the next shade which is mulberry and mulberry is defined as a matte reddish brown with sparkling reflex again sparkling reflex not very sure about it but i feel like this shade which is nueva vida this one a reddish brown shade from the Mariposa palette is very, very close. So let's take that. This Mariposa shades are very, very uh, pigmented. So do keep that in mind. There you go. That dupes the shade Mulberry from the new ABH palette. The next shade in the palette is called Ember. And Ember is defined as a matte toasted brown with fiery reflex, again, don't know about the fiery reflex part I, i'll give you a matte toasted brown <laughs> and this is duped by the shade called fudge from the subculture palette so let's let's take that there you go so that dupes the shade ember the last shade in the palette is called twilight and twilight is defined as a matte deep grayish green shade and this is duped by the shade actually you can take this one guacamole i think from the mariposa palette or you can also take this shade which is untamed from the subculture palette both would just solve the purpose both of them look exactly the same so i'm going to take the melt one and just there you go and that is the new abh palette duped for you guys do let me know in the comment section below how you love the dupes do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think I got close or not? Uh, but I feel like we are very, very close to the color story, especially on the eyes. I feel like these shades can totally, totally serve your cravings. I actually did another look too, uh, inspired by the ABH website, uh, more of like a burgundy with a toasted, like this a dawn shade in the middle and that came out really well, but I wanted to go a little bit more of the whiny, purpley tones the palette screams those tones <laughs> so i wanted to show that to you how versatile you can go but yes if you are ready to see how i achieve this look 
by duping the fall romance palette from ABH, then keep on watching. Okay, let's begin with the eye look. The first shade that I'm going to apply is in place of leather. So the shade that I'm going to apply for my crease shade is called Te Adoro from the Mariposa palette. So let's apply that all across our crease. It's more of a like a like my skin tone shade, but a little bit more on the cooler tone side. So I'm going to just take that as a transitioning shade on my crease. And these shades are super, super pigmented. Obviously, this is closer to my skin shade, so you cannot see that. But super pigmented, super buildable. Really, really lovely. I hope you can see that transitioning shade. Really pretty. I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too. Now I'm going to go a little more on the deeper side. I'm going to take a little bit more of a deeper shade, this brown shade, which is Fudge from the Subculture palette. And I'm going to take it on my Anastasia brush because this is a little bit more on the stiffer side. I'm going to pack it right there in the outer corner as well as in the inner corner. Going for a halo eye today. And once we have that placed, then we'll start joining it together and I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line just like that don't worry about the blending we'll blend it out in just a minute I'm just going to place everything wherever we need the smokiness going back into my refer number 16 and just blending the edges so that there's a smooth blend and nothing is harsh so once we have that all blended across the eyelid, now I want to take a little bit more of a burgundy turn. For that, I'm going to take this shade, which is, I'm going to take this shade, which is Maria from the Mariposa palette. And I'm going to first place that on the inner and the outer corners, starting off with the outer corner, because this is such a beautiful burgundy shade just placing it right on top of that brown shade that we placed look how pretty that shade is subculture also has a very similar shade uh, this shade which is all star so if you do have that just use that in place of it i literally feel like this Fall Romance palette is definitely a modern version of Subculture. Just because once you see like the burgundies and all, the first thing that comes into the mind is uh, modern renaissance. But I feel like Subculture is more closer to this palette as compared to modern renaissance. So once we have that all placed, I'm going to just take the same brush with that first transitioning shade that we used. And I'm just going to blend everything together just because i want a smooth blend but i don't want to lose any depth or the shades that we applied again going for more of that smoky sultry look i'm gonna take this this shade the highlight of the <laughs> fall romance palette which is new money i'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna take that in the crease just so that we have that hint of that, you know, the purpley pink shade, which everybody is out for. Especially, I feel like that's the shade that like jumps out to everybody. Right there, like right in the crease, just for that hint. See, right there. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade, which is Live in Lavish, on my finger gonna put it right in the place where there's nothing like blank space it's not gonna give much right now and i want a little bit of like a deeper base i'm not going for that wow wow boom effect with that shade specifically but we we'll take another shade to top it on top of it and that would give all the effect and for that i'm gonna take the highlighter shade which is chasing dreams that's the iridescent purple, which replaces the shade Moonlight. Okay, I'm just going to take that shade and just press it right on top. And you can see how it glows. It's so stunning, you guys. 
look at that that just takes this look to another level and that's exactly what these iridescent shades do makes it so much more interesting on the eyes just like that now let's move on to the inner corners now for the inner corners i'm gonna go into this electric shade which replaces the shade crown in the palette and i'm gonna take that right there in the inner corners just for that glow just like that look at that stunning <laughs> i'm gonna finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara and a little bit black on the waterline and i'll come right back there you go and that's my final eye look i love how ethereal and warm and sexy and you know sensual it looks on the eyes i really really love it and this is like fall appropriate absolutely fall appropriate on my lips i have bff4 lip liner from colourpop and i have this Too faced melted matte lipstick in the shade hot toddy on my lips to complement this eye look like the vine eye look i really really loved it i really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial that i created with the dupes of the new abh fall romance palette and do do let me know if you do have these palettes in your collection do you ever think that this is going to dupe this palette or not but yes if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys